Okay. I see you, Nats. Nat, but before we end this video, make sure you guys do like and subscribe. And let's get right into this video. The Nats won 8-5, to five, baby. Woo! Our bullpen did good tonight. Bullpen gives up zero runs. They were all from Austin Voth, who was starting tonight. Um, and, you know, the Nats looked really good tonight, a lot better. You know, they were down 5-2 at uh, one point. I think it was the fourth or fifth inning. Put up a four spot in that inning. Um, I think it was the fifth or something. Fourth or fifth, I think. We weren't looking good at that point, man. I'm, I'm glad we pulled that off. Scored six unanswered against the Braves. How about that, Braves fans? Let's go, baby. But I'm not going to get, you know, too too cocky because we're still 9-12. and 12. The Braves are still in first place. We now got back right to where we need to be because at the start of this year, we were three games back, and now we're back to three games. Tomorrow, if we can win... That's a really good series right there. Because if you win tomorrow, you know, we beat the Orioles 2 out of 3. Now you're beating the Atlanta Braves. Yes, the first team at Atlanta Braves, even without Acuna and Albies, are still a very good and scary team. You know, they still have Freeman. They're scary. You know, they could probably be scary without Freeman. <laughs> you know, but I, I just can't. Even imagine what would happen if Acuna and Albies were in the lineup, you know. I don't think we would have won either of those two games. So, yeah, I mean, maybe, who knows? I mean, but uh, Voth, yeah, he gave up five earned tonight. Didn't do that good, but that's also a good sign because the Nats bullpen did a good job. You know, I'm honestly not that worried. You know, I know it's one game we did good, but also... I know I did get mad at Hudson last night for giving up four runs, but it was, it's called baseball. I mean, Hudson really, he did a way better job tonight, closed it out one, two, three. But Hudson last night was kind of just getting hit a lot. He was, throwing them, he was throwing strikes. They were just hitting him. You know, that Dansby Swanson pitch, it was, you know, I know, you know, he maybe shouldn't have pitched it down the middle, but, you know, it's baseball. You know, you're going to get a hit off. Did a way better job tonight. Regrouped, one, two, three inning. That's how you balance back Daniel Hudson. Clap it up for Daniel Hudson right there, man. That's a, you know, th this is a really, like, huge game. And I'm, I got to give credit where it's due to the bullpen. Stepping up, knowing this is a must-win game for us. You can't afford to go 8-13. and 13. Now, five games under 500. That is a two-game swing. You know what I mean? Like, you can go from... Being up and then getting a game, or you can go from being a game. Now you're another game back, you know. So we're now three games back of the Braves. You know, it's not horrible, but we do need us to just start getting hot. We need to start inching closer on the Braves. There's 40 games left. Yeah, we're, what are we? No, 39 games left. We're 9-12. and 12. Um, you, know, you know, we're not necessarily running out of time, but there's like five weeks left in the season. We need to start getting hot. You know, we won tonight. But, you know, I also don't blame the Nats because this Braves-Nats series has been a slugfest. So let me see right here. Turner, uh, hold on. I think we had... We had, like, 20-something hits tonight. Braves, I think, had, like, 18. I don't even know how many hits there were tonight combined. I think there was, like... 30 something it's crazy but you know this is gonna be you know a slugfest till the end it, it really is but uh i mean yeah i mean no it's gonna be you know it's gonna be a slugfest probably tomorrow i mean i mean it, it gets me nervous but you know if we can just pull out the win i'm good with it so yeah i mean it's just it's gonna be it's gonna be hard tomorrow, you know. Eric Fetty takes the mound. Um again uh, I don't know, starting for the Braves, but Eric Fetty's taking the mound tomorrow, and I'm confident. Uh Fetty has a two point something yard. I think he has like a two point two two something in the like that range. 
He has a good ERA. Fetty's pitched well the last few games. I'm confident in Fetty tomorrow. Let's go, Eric Fetty. Come on. Step up and make a big pitch, a big time game tomorrow. Will you do it for me, Eric Fetty? Will you? Come on, man. You got to do it for the club. Do it for the club. You got this. Come on, Eric Fetty. I'm giving you some encouragement. You've had a nice season, all right? Don't, I'm, I'm giving you some credit. Now, don't let it slip away, all right? Like, don't give up 10 runs tomorrow. And then tomorrow, I'm going to come on here and, you know, talk, you know, how are you not very good? You know, so let's get into the box scores. Turner was batting leadoff tonight. He was two for six with an RBI. Pretty good game for Turner. Had a triple in the gap. Um, and then he had a single, I believe. No, he had um he had an RBI, yeah, yeah, yeah I forgot. Um Eaton had was two for five in RBI. He had a good game. Uh had an oppo hit to left field. Soto was two for four with the walk, had an RBI, had an oppo hit to left field. It was five to three, then he got it to five four, and there was still no one out. That was the inning where we put up four. Um, you know, Juan Soto, stop it. You're too, like, it's just, he's just disgustingly good right now. I think he's hitting, like, in the 430 range. Kids is stuck. If you don't think Juan Soto is a good player, oh my gosh, bro. Like, you're just taking this generational talent for granted. You really are. Like, come on, man. Like that, like that pitcher, whatever he said to Juan Soto last night when Juan Soto was staring him down, like, Get off, Soto. Like, he's so much better than you. Like, even uh, Davey Martinez, the Nats manager, stuck up for Soto. He didn't like what uh, the pitcher said to him. Kind of, you know, ticked him off. And I don't blame Soto, man. You had a no-doubter home run off him. I'm getting mad at him. I'm like, yeah, man. I, I think Soto was a little fired up. And, you know, I would be too if I were him. Hitting off that pitcher who's saying stuff to you. Soto isn't going to let you do nothing to him. Kids are stuck. I love him. I, I just I love him so much, dude. Favorite player on the Nets. Favorite player in the MLB. What's not to like about him? Uh, Cabrera batted cleanup tonight. Hit was two for five. Had a ribby. Cabrera's been swinging the bat lately, especially from the right side of the plate. He's been scary. He had a monster home run yesterday. You know... You know, and by the way, I was thinking of not even watching the Nats game tonight just because, you know, I was just so mad about last night. Um, but I still watched them because my dad was like, no, we got to turn the game on. I was like, Dad, I just want to watch some NBA. Nats are going to choke. And he was just like, no, come on, let's watch the game. And I'm like, all right, I'll watch the Nats game, I guess. And it actually ended up winning for me. All right. But Cabrera, two for five, a ribby. Like I said, he's been swinging the bat really well from the right side of the plate. Um, and I'm really liking what I'm seeing for him, you know. Uh, also, Howie Kendrick, he um he was actually available to pinch hit tonight, didn't do it, so he should be back soon. I don't I don't pro, I don't know if he's gonna be in the lineup tomorrow. You know, it it would be a big help if he could be. You know, it would just give like a cherry on top for this you know offense. I just can't imagine if we had Rendon too, like. It's just, we could compete with, like, the Dodgers, the Yankees, or the best offense in the league if we had, you know, those two back. You know, our, our offense is doing really good without, you know, those two people. You know, Turner stepping up, Soto, Eaton, Garcia is stepping up. You know, yeah, that guy that, like, you know, came in a few games ago, yeah, had a good game tonight. Uh, but we're going to get into him in a second. Suzuki was one for five. Um... He had uh, he had a walk too, I think. Or no, that was last night. My bad. Um, Garcia was three for four with three singles and a walk, so he was on four times. He had a check swing blooper in the left field. I mean, I don't know what that was, but it worked. Garcia, man, have a day for the kid. My bad. Uh, you know, just have a day. Garcia, man. Stepping up big time for the club, knowing we need this win. I mean, thank you, Garcia. I mean, he really helped tonight. He he played a big role in the Nats win tonight. You know, 
I'm, I'm really liking what I'm seeing for Garcia. Made a really good play in the infield. The guy was safe by like a step, but I mean, still, Garcia is a disgustingly good defender. Gomes was two for five with an RBI. He had a pretty solid game. Gomes has been swinging the bat pretty solid lately. Um, you know, I still like Suzuki a lot better. Suzuki was the DH tonight, but they're both catchers. Um, I think it's just because Howie's usually our DH, and Thames had to play first base. Cabrera was at third. Kibum did not play tonight, so, you know, it kind of makes sense. But um, Thames was two for five with three RBIs. Thames is, that's his, you know, he's swinging the bat the last two games. All right, Thames. Fine. Look who decided to show up. All right. Robles, two for five, three RBIs. Made an amazing catch in the outfield. What was it? Uh, six five Braves. No, six five Nats. Uh, Austin Riley hits a almost a home run into uh dead center. Robles brings it back and robs. I was I was jumping up and down. I was so freaking relieved and excited though that he made that catch because I was I was you know kind of heartbroken when I saw that ball in the air. I was like, oh no, here we go again. How about that, Victor Robles? Gold Glove candidate. I literally have said this. Gold Glove candidate. He's going to be one, maybe this year, but at least in the future. And he's hitting the bat really well. Like Victor Robles is scary good. He's an underrated player in this league. You know, no, no cap about that. But uh, thank you guys for watching. You know, that's tomorrow seven ten start. Um, recap after, recap after, uh, the game, so, I mean, yeah, hopefully, pull it off, get two out of three against the Braves, let's go for it tomorrow, thank you guys for watching, I'm out, peace, gotta go to bed, cause it's like midnight.